Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some good old yarny talk. Hello, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Welcome to my channel, and I would like to say thank you for each and every one of you for coming back and watching my videos. Um, today's video is a finished object video. <laughs> uh, first thing, I guess I can just start off with what I'm wearing. This is my first cardigan that I have designed. I did put the tutorial out, um, so I'll leave the link below in the description box if you want to make this. And let's see. Oh yeah, and I do have a PDF pattern on my Etsy and on my um, my website, adoringdollclothes.com. Um, this is the um, this is the cardigan. It's how it fits. This is a medium slash large. And um, I did add sleeves. I mean, I did add a couple little rows here. You really don't even need it. And here is here is the back side. Anyway, so I am so excited over this pattern. <laughs> um, matter of fact, I mean, it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that was pretty holy so that um, I can wear it all winter in 100, 100 degree weather, I can still wear this and feel comfortable. So I tried to make the hose, you know, pretty big, but not too big. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead um, and I'll tell you the yarn I used. It is a medium yarn, medium weight yarn, but it is um, like a light, a thin medium full weight. So here it is. I used this Flex. It is beautiful yarn. It is so, so, so soft. Oh my gosh, this thing feels good on. Um, I wore it out yesterday and it was really nice. Oh, I know what I was gonna tell you. The reason I, one reason why I added a couple of rows here is because some days I may wanna wear a tank top and it's fine, but the days that I want to wear a little t-shirt type of a shirt where it has a little sleeve, one of my sleeve to where it did not poke out. There you go. <laughs> so um, if I had to, I would have done a couple more rows if I needed to. But that's the only, really the only reason why I put the border on it is because I knew that I would be wearing shirts and I didn't want my t-shirt to hang out. I mean, that's just tacky, <laughs> I feel like. my That's my opinion. Okay, so back to the yarn. Anyway, it's a medium full weight yarn, but it's a thin yarn. And it has all these flakes in it. So if you want to make this, you can use three weight yarn. Matter of fact, I'm fixing to make me a black one because I need black. Black goes with everything. So, uh, and I have a mega ball yarn over here in black, so I plan on making it with that. So the next thing I wanna show you is from this Pokemon book that I bought. And I put this all over Facebook um, about this book. Uh, my daughter actually ordered this because she wanted these. And so I started off with Pikachu, but she let me know that uh, she really wanted to start off with the three main starting characters. And I don't know who they are. I wrote them down somewhere. Let's see. I don't know if I taped it to the inside of the book. But I did write it down. But I know that one of them is Charmander and Bulbasaur. I can't really remember who the other one was. But anyway, so the first one that I have started and I have finished. Um, okay, here's Bulbasaur. That's one of them, she says. Here's Bulbasaur. That's one of them that she says I have to do. Um, Charmander is the other one I have to do. And I don't know why I can't think it. All you Pokemon fans that knows anything about the game, I'm sure you all know about it, which one it's supposed to be. Might be Charizard. I don't know. Um, I did write it down, but that was last week. You know how that goes, right? So where is Pikachu? There he is. Okay, I didn't know. So I started with Pikachu because he's the most popular character. So I started with him. And here Pikachu is. I think he's adorable. And he's pretty big. Um, it, did, it did call for a smaller yarn, but I didn't have any in this bright yellow. And so I was like, I have to do it in this. She said she's okay with it being larger. I did use a 2.5 millimeter hook. Um, it's my plastic light-up hook that I use. I love it for my amigurumis. But here's the back side. 
and his tail is not crooked. It's a lightning bolt. <laughs> it actually goes, I think, like that. So, I just keep it up. But, there he is. There's Pikachu. And he's just adorable. And I started on Charizard, I mean, uh, Charmander. And this is where I'm at on Charmander. Uh, let's see. So, they're pretty much the same size. That's good, right? Here he is. I've got two of his feet done. I'm working on the hands right now. And then um, all I got is um, the felt for the face. And then a, I think um, just a couple little strands, kind of like his mouth is all in his nose. That's all I got on that. And he's finished. Well, not. I'm sorry. I've got to do something with this. I'm supposed to brush this out and it's going to look like a flame. So I'm, in, I'm pretty interested in doing that. I can't wait to do that. Um, it said you can take like an old toothbrush or something and brush it out. So I'm looking forward to doing that to see how that comes out. But I'm so glad that they're coming out about the same size. Um, that's really good. <laughs> I was hoping they would. Um, let's see. What I'm using on Charmander, I got lucky because I come across, I had one skein of this. And it is Premier Basic Yarn. It is 359 yards, a medium four weight. It is the color is called pumpkin. And I don't see anything pumpkin about this, but that's what it's called. And I mean, it is perfect for Charmander. I only had one skein, but that's all I need. <laughs> so I've started on. Okay, I still need the bottom of his foot. I've got bottom of one foot right there. So I'm working on that foot, and there it is. I was like. So there's the bottom of that foot. So this is a really a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Uh, my daughter is super excited to get these characters. Uh, the hook that I'm using, like I said, it's a 2.5. Yes, it's a 2.5. This is Yarn Mania. I got it from Amazon. I'll leave. I do have an affiliate link, and I can leave that link below if you want. Uh, but this is what I use. They are light up hooks. I really don't use the light up part of it, but it does light up. Um, but I don't really use that. It, I like this because this is flexible on the end. It has some give to it. And, um, it doesn't seem to catch my yarn like the sharp, um, met, the sharp needles do. And, um, it flows, it just flows better for the amigurumis. It's the only time I use this is for my amigurumis. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, yarn that I used, I think that was Premier Basic for Pikachu, but that's all I have in that one too. So it's gone, but that was all I needed. Um, I use for his stripes and stuff. I use some of my Brava. This is Wee Crochet. Um, I used, I think this might be Mainstay uh, in the black. I'm going to include a short clip of how I made these little, the little pieces right here and put them on him. So, um, just watch the video real quick. When it comes time to put on the templates, what I do is I take a piece of paper. There we go. See, and you can see through there. And I just outline that like this right here. And I cut it out. Now, since mine did come out a little bigger, my Pikachu, um, what I did is I just cut, I outlined it just like it shows on here. And then I cut around it a little, um, a little larger. And, um, let me see. Yeah, that's the cheek. So there you are. So see, there's my circle. And then that's for the eye. And so I cut it a little larger. And then what I do from there is I take that and I will lay it on the piece that I need. Once I do that, I will pin it right here. So once I get that cut out like this, hold on a minute, because I'm doing this with one hand, I take a straight pin, like from here, and I put where, it wants, where I want it to go on here to give me an idea of where I'm going to hot glue it. So that's how you do that. And then you just do the whole face. See, there's the face. And you just pin it on him. 
about like that. So I don't know, my circle may need to be a little bigger. And at this point, if it does, what I will do is I will take that piece off and then I will cut around that and just make that a little larger. But you just do that with all the pieces. And then once you get them all pinned onto his face, then you just take your hot glue gun and um, just hot glue everything on there. So now I have all my pieces marked here and all I have to do is hot glue them on there. And then I just do the embroidery of the little face right here. So that's all you need to do. Okay, so that's how I put those on here. It was really easy. That's my finished object and my almost finished. I will be finished with this today. This is a hack stitch hat. Isn't it beautiful? I love this. So um, I made this, I got it finished. I do have a tutorial on how to make this. If you like it, I'll show it up close a little bit. You can see it better. If you haven't seen it and you're new to my channel, I do have the tutorial for this. This is, I love this yarn. I can't, I, I, well, I can't remember what the name of this yarn was or the name of this yarn is. Um, hmm. I can't for the life of me remember the color of this yarn, but it was a discontinued yarn, so I'm not even sure if they still have it. Uh, so that's finished. Oh, and I showed yesterday the slippers. I do have a tutorial for this. I finished those, and it was some leftover yarn. This is discontinued yarn as well. <laughs> um, I did get my crochet toppers done for the crochet along. I finished those. And what else did I finish? Um, oh yeah, uh, the wings, I will leave the video to that, the link to that video. So in case you want to get in on that giveaway slash you got to work for it giveaway. <laughs> um, I did make a hag stitch washcloth. So I have that and, um, I did make another washcloth this week and it's that one. I have a tutorial for that one. I actually have a tutorial four tutorials uh, of washcloths. So, and here <laughs> are my samples of my washcloth. The next thing that I have is, um, I received a kit that I had bought. I got ordered two kits, and one is called Picnic on the Beach. It was a crochet along with Coastal Crochet. Um, and this came from the Knitting Network um, from the UK. And let's see, I ordered a summer kit and an autumn kit. And um, it says package one of two has arrived. Well, here is package one. Here is the yarn for package one. So I don't know if that's just one of the kits. And I still have the second kit coming. But it is beautiful yarn. And I am actually going to be crocheting this along with, because this crochet is already passed. It's done with. But um, I just fell in love with the blanket. I'll leave a picture there. <laughs> Um, and that is what I am working on. And one is for me, one is for my daughter. And I'm working with Nancy from She's Got Yarn Too. Hey, Nancy. Uh, we are going to make these blankets together. Like I said, the crochet along is already finished. So we are just doing it for fun because we liked it. Um, but like I said, they it is a little pricey uh, for the yarn. The uh, yarn that they sent you is for the kit is called Style Craft. It's very nice yarn. I love this. And I can see this made for a blanket. It is really, really nice. It says that it is, like this color is called Citron. 100% premium acrylic, approximately 322 yards in this. And it is an anti-peeling DK weight yarn. So I am really looking forward to making this. Um, I It doesn't tell you how many skeins you're getting in the kit. So I'm thinking that's probably all for one kit. Uh, but I will go back. I'm going to look at the pictures. Uh, I haven't had a chance to do that. Uh, it's just been really busy. <laughs> so I haven't had a chance to do that. I just kind of set the yarn to the side. So I am looking forward to getting started on that blanket with Nancy. 
Um, in tomorrow's video, I'll show you the actual crochet along that is going on that we had both bought and it's called a picnic on the river blanket. And that is a current crochet along. And so we are both taking, we are both participating in that. And I'm so excited about that. My box came in and I can't wait to show you guys, but you gotta wait till tomorrow. <laughs> really excited to show that one to you guys. So let's go ahead and do our 365 days of prayer to end our video. The title on this one is called A Glimpse. Surely there is a future and your hope will not be cut off. God of promise, oh, I'm sorry, that was Proverbs 23, 18. God of promise, please show me what to do with my disappointment. It's so hard having your heart set on something, praying for it with confidence and belief and being told no. I want to see it as not yet or not that because you have something better in mind. But in the moment, all I can hear is the no and it hurts. It hurts my ears and it hurts my heart. I need a glimpse down the path Father, would you lift me up on your shoulders just for a moment so I can see that when we are headed is indeed better than the road I wanted to take. Do you need a glimpse down the path? Can you see that God has a future for you? Yes, I need a glimpse down the path a lot. <laughs> that is definitely me. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.